So, the menstrual cycle uh, is a uh, menstrual cycle occurs in female every month. This menstrual cycle will stop if the female attains pregnancy. Okay. During pregnancy no more mature egg will be released because it is already there it is being developed. Okay. So, no mature eggs will be released by the ovary. This is a temporary menopause okay, is not it till pregnancy there will be no uh, menstrual cycle. But after attaining a certain period maybe 45 to 50 permanently menstrual cycle gets stopped ok. Permanently menstrual cycle gets stopped and this is known as menopause. This is known as menopause. So, we are talking about what menstrual cycle the first time the beginning of the menstrual cycle during puberty is known as what children that I am going to write over here it is known as what menarche. Okay. And the last that means when it comes to an end it is known as menopause. So, to begin with the first menstrual flow in a female during puberty ok the first one ok the first menstrual flow is known as, known as what menarche ok it is known as menarche now this menstrual cycle stops during pregnancy ok why does it get stopped because the development is already going on in the uterus ok now uterus will not be able to uh, take any more uh, zygote is not it. So, the development or the sorry the menstrual cycle stop during the pregnancy which again begins just after the rebirth uh, what rebirth just which again begins after the birth of the child ok. So, this is first second menstrual cycle again starts after the birth of the child ok menstrual cycle when it starts menarche when a female attends pregnancy then the menstrual cycle will stop ok then the menstrual cycle will stop when the menstrual cycle get when when it will stop during the pregnancy now as soon as the pregnancy when the female ok give birth to the child when the mother give birth to the child that means pregnancy is over now again it will give rise to menstrual cycle that means again that process of releasing of ovum that means ovulation will begin the, ok. Now, this uh, ovum this, ov uh, this ovum will go where it will reach to uterus again again through what through fallopian tube or oviduct it will reach to uterus again uterus will develop will uh, you know prepare itself for the development of the next zygote it will develop what how it is going to develop thick wall will be formed it will be spongy lot of blood vessels will be formed ok. Now, again menstrual cycle will begin if in this course again the zygote is formed again woman will become pregnant when woman will become pregnant again menstrual cycle will stop. Now, after attending age of 45 to 
fifty the menstrual cycle. Okay, the menstrual cycle stops permanently. Okay, it will stop permanently. What is happening when it will stop permanently? Then what is happening now? It is known as what it will be known as. It is known as what it will be known as. This stage is known as menopause. Okay. So this is all about the menstrual cycle. But again, if we talk about menstrual cycle, the fourth point, fifth point, the menstrual cycle continues till the age of forty five to Fifty, okay, and this flow remains. That means during this cycle, when the cycle has started, the flow, the waste will be thrown out of the body uh, from three to five days. This flow remains from three to five days. Again. where it varies from person to person that means from female to female okay so now this is all total about menstrual cycle pregnancy and also about menarche and menopause okay so in short what we have discussed student in short we have discussed that a female okay or even if i begin from the very beginning when a girl child is born okay when a girl child is born that girl child also has many eggs in its in its in, his, in her ovary okay but which kind of egg does the girl child has immature okay now after the girl reaches to the puberty when the girl becomes when she becomes or she is of the age of 11 12 13 depending upon like it varies from person to person but basically okay so that puberty is attained now during this puberty the ovary will release the mature egg this mature egg will go to the uterus through fallopian tube or ovary duct if here the ovum or ova okay it get uh, fertilized okay sperm is there it get fertilized then pregnancy will takes place in case if ovum does not get fertilized then what will happen this thick wall of uterus and spongy wall and lots of blood vessels and all this thing Okay, now egg also itself also, which is not fertilized, will be of no use. It will be, it has to be thrown out of the body. So all this, along with the blood, comes out of the vagina. This is known as menstrual cycle. The time when it begins in a girl, it is known as menarche. Okay, it starts from the puberty. Okay, whenever a female will become pregnant, this menop, uh, this menstrual cycle will stop temporarily. okay that means ovaries will not release ovules that means ovulation will stop now after the pregnancy that means when the child when the birth when the female gives birth to the child again after that menstrual cycle will begin but after the female attains the age of 45 to 50 this menstrual cycle stops permanently and then this is known as menopause okay i will again just set out all through a small chart okay so it becomes very easy to understand so i'll just rub this please note this out 
okay so this topic is over but i'll just uh, want to uh, make a small chart so that you know the things become more clearer so a girl child has immature eggs in ovary okay girls at the time of birth okay girl child has immature eggs in the ovary during puberty okay during puberty she gets menstrual cycle okay during puberty she gets menstrual cycle now the first cycle okay first cycle is known as what menarche okay now in this what will happen ovary will release ovary will release what ovum where it will go fallopian tube or oviduct i will write from here where it will go it will go to uterus okay now meanwhile what uterus is doing children uterus wall becomes thick and spongy and lots of blood vessel develops okay blood vessels now every month or say 28 days what will happen ovaries will release what this one okay this process will takes place every month now this is known as what ovulation okay this process will be known as what ovulation now ovules or ovulation will takes place okay what will be released ova will be released or ovums will be released okay ovums will be released now after this i will start here so we have got ovum okay now two things will takes place now first if it comes in contact with sperm plus so what will happen fertilization okay fertilization will takes place zygote will be formed this is known as what pregnancy okay now again ovum if no sperm okay no sperm no sperm that means what no fertilization okay so will be thrown out okay no fertilization okay now what will happen now dead now this will die there is no use of this now so dead ovum along with blood is thrown out from where it will come out it will come out from vagina okay and this is known as this is known as what menstrual cycle okay during pregnancy during pregnancy no menstrual cycle okay during pregnancy no menstrual cycle will be there now when it stopped okay when this stopped permanently 
when they stop permanently then what is known as it is known as menopause it is known as menopause so uh, we can say that the reproductive phase okay what we can say children that the reproductive phase of a female begins from menarche and it's it ends up where during like after menopause it comes to an end that means when a girl attains puberty the body becomes ready for the development of zygote and child and all this thing but when the menopause is there when the female body reaches uh, when the menopause is there that means menstrual cycle comes to an end okay when the menstrual cycle come to an end that means the reproductive phase of a female comes to an end okay so this was all about the whatever is uh, there in the reproductive cycle of a female this is a gist of overall whatever we have discussed now so now please note this down so that we can move to the next topic now we will talk about the next topic that is determination of the sex okay so uh, let's let me write the heading of this determination of the sex of the baby okay so we are talking about determination of the sex of the baby see as far as india is concerned okay as far as india is concerned this is a very big issue what big issue that means the child when when a child takes birth you know uh many of like many families even i know many families who are least bothered about how is child how is mother they are more bothered to know about the sex of the child is it a boy or a girl if it is a boy then you know everything is good everything is fine good care will be uh, taken and unfortunately children if the child is girl then you know lot of discrimination lot of uh, problems lots of issues will be you know is created and everything all the blame comes on the mother that because like she which kind of a mother is she she cannot give birth to a boy child which kind of a woman uh, is she uh, that she cannot give to a boy, birth to a boy child you might be thinking i am speaking something very weird but it's not at all that children even in this century even in this modern world even in the very modern families and very modern uh, cities okay i have seen many people many families behaving in this way but one thing which is very very important to understand is that the child the sex of the child okay the sex of the child do not depend upon the mother that means the child who is going to take birth okay the sex of the child who is going to take birth okay the child will be a girl child or a boy child it doesn't depends upon the mother children it doesn't depends upon the children it depends only upon the father it depends only and only upon the father okay this point has to be uh, cleared up you know because in this uh, we are in a century where all these things please like it should not be uh, it should not be given so much of importance as it is being given is it it so let's talk about this how like when i'm saying like it doesn't depends upon the woman that the baby is a girl or a, like that baby means the child okay that the child is a girl or a boy it doesn't depends upon the mother it depends upon the father so how does it depends upon the father and if it depends upon the father then why does it depends upon the father 
okay so we'll talk about this now so see in human beings okay in human beings we have got how many pairs of chromosome children we have got 23 pairs of chromosomes okay in human beings okay I'm talking about human beings so in human beings okay how many pairs pairs I'm talking about there are 23 pairs of chromosome okay in human beings there are 23 pairs of chromosome in one of the chapter we have also discussed in detail about the cell cell organelles that means whatever is present in the cell we have already discussed about that so I do not think so that this part should be a problem for you all okay so we are talking about the sex determination in the child in the baby or in simple words we are talking about who is the one the mother or the father who decides that the child will be a girl or a boy okay decides means even it is not in their hand so how is it possible we will talk about that in human beings we have got 23 pairs of chromosome okay now out of 23 pairs 22 pairs okay 22 pairs are totally same okay now these 22 pairs are known as autosomes okay human beings have got 23 pairs of chromosome out of this 23 pairs of chromosome 22 pairs are same and these all okay these 22 pairs are known as autosomes now one pair is left isn't it one pair is left so one pair is known as sex chromosome okay this is known as sex chromosome it is known as sex chromosome now this sex chromosome can be of two types okay this sex chromosome can be of two types okay one which is present in male and the other one which is present in female or else female I will write here okay the one which is present in female and the other which is present in male one one pair I am talking about okay in total we have got 23 pairs of chromosome from this 23 pairs of chromosome 22 pairs are exactly like they are same and these are known as autosomes okay these 22 pairs are known as autosomes now one pair of chromosome is left children this one pair of chromosome is known as sex chromosome okay now if we talk about this now I am talking about this sex chromosome okay now when I am talking about sex chromosome in female so when we talk about female okay I am talking about one pair which is left now okay so when we talk about female I will write over here now okay I am talking about female so which kind of chromosome will be there and in male which kind of chromosome will be there see one pair I am talking about only one pair which is left in total 23 chromosome 22 chromosomes are same which is known as, which are known as autosomes now one pair is left I am talking about that one pair one pair means what two chromosome pair isn't it that means two chromosome so I am talking about the two chromosomes now here when we talk about female both the chromosomes are X both the chromosomes are X okay but when we talk about male but when we talk about male one chromosome is X but the another one is Y okay one chromosome is X and the another chromosome is Y so I will just make it like this 
now what will happen now what what next ok. So, now obviously the female cell ok these eggs this ovum will be fertilized by the sperms these are what these are sperms is not it these are sperms. So, this female egg has to be fertilized by the male one ok then this zygote formation will takes place now if see in female both the like both the chromosomes are same it is xx. So, it does not makes any difference whether which chromosome of female is being fertilized ok. But when we talk about male whenever this x chromosome whenever this x chromosome will be fertilizing the uh, chromosome uh, the uh, this x sperm ok the sperm which is having x chromosome will be fertilizing the female uh, cells or the ovum x x will be formed ok see will do it. This one and here. So, what will be formed here we have x there we have x. So, x x will be formed ok that means what it is it is a girl ok it is a girl. Now, again if this one the same is getting fertilized by this chromosome this cell this pump I mean where y chromosome is present ok when this ovum is being fertilized by this sperm which is having y chromosome then then what will be formed children then x and y from there. So, what will be formed here x and y who has male that means a boy child will be there. Same thing we will talk about this ovum now. Now, this ovum both the time there will be no difference uh, when we talk about uh, female because both the ovum will be having x chromosome only. But when we talk about the male the sperm will be having x chromosome and the y chromosome. So, now when this is being fertilized by this one I will take the another chalk just wait. ok. So, I am taking another chalk now this one. So, what will be formed x and x again x x that means a girl will be formed. Now, same with this one. So, now what will be formed x y a boy child will be formed ok. So, now just have a look again we have got 23 pairs of chromosome out of this 23 pairs of chromosome we have 22 similar chromosomes ok. These are known as autosomes these are known as autosomes. Now, uh, now I am talking about this only one pair this one pair of chromosome is known as known as what sex chromosome ok. This one pair of chromosome is known as what it is known as what sex chromosome. Now, this now I am talking about the pair which is present in female as well as in male. When we talk about female we have got ovum it will be having like both chromosome will be x only both the chromosome will be x. But when we talk about male one chromosome is x but the other one is y. Now, when the crossing takes place or when we say that when the fertilization takes place ok when the fertilization takes place then it does not depends that the child will be a girl or a boy because anyhow x chromosome is only coming from the female there is no difference is not it. The one who is going to make the difference will be this this part if the fertilization takes place by this one then we will be having x y and then we have boy is not it. So, what we have done we have taken first of all we are we have fertilized this one with the x and then with the y. So, when we talk about x and x x x that means girl
that will be formed. When we talk about again this x and y, x y will be formed. Now we will be doing same thing with the another one. This x and this x again x x will be formed x and then y. So, x y will be formed. So, when we talk about the results, when we talk about the results the 50 percent this is all 100 percent, 50 percent is what girl child and 50 percent are what boy child that means they are equal is not it. So, what is the case this thing ok the sex of the child surely it depends only upon the father because only father has got that y chromosome because father is a male is not it. So, only male has got x y chromosome and when this y chromosome comes in wherever like you know whenever, whenever when the y chromosome is there in the sperm when this y chromosome sperm is fertilizing the ovum then the boy child will be there. So, it totally depends that means what depends that the child is male or a female that means a child is a boy or a girl will totally depend upon the father and not upon the mother ok. So, this was all about the what the determination the sex determination of the baby ok. So, uh, this is the there is no need I think so to you know revise now because we have discussed this thing enough. Now, we will move to the next topic. Please note this down.